Hey guys, Andrew here with Elephant Racing, and today we're going to be showing you how to install our ASP adjustable spring plates on a this 1974 Porsche 911. Available for 69 through 89, 911, 912s, and 930s. The ASP spring plates update the rear camber curve to meet the needs of modern, wide, low profile radial tires. The result is superior grip in turns, straight line braking, and reduced tire wear. To begin, we'll start by mounting the plates that bolt directly to the trailing arm. In this instance, we have the trailing arm removed for visual purposes. Now make sure to pay close attention to the included instructions and observe the diagram to properly install the outer plate and upper and lower plates. Also pay close attention to which hardware and spaces are used in the exact locations. Snug up all the hardware and you're ready to move to the next step. Note that when installing ASP spring plates, the rear brake lines will require rerouting behind the lower and upper plate. For this application, we're using the Polybron spring plate bearings and quick change spline hubs which are not included. Instead, you could use a set of factory spline hubs equipped on 77 through 89 911s and any bushing designed for factory spring plates. To begin installation, we'll begin by making sure the torsion tube is cleaned and prepped for bushing installation. Note that this is a coilover conversion. For torsion bars, you would follow the same standard procedure and set the angle of the blade at this point. Be sure to read about the recommended angles in the included ASP notes. Then we slide our spring plate cover onto the blade assembly and secure using the four bolts and schnorr washers included with the kit, leaving loose enough to install the rod end of the upper pushrod assembly. Now mount the pushrod assembly by first sliding in the front rod end and tightening with the bolt then torquing the spring plate cover bolts to spec. Now slide the other side between the two plates and secure with the bolt and locking nut. We slide the lower rod end on the blade assembly between the outer and lower plates and hand tighten the bolt and locking nut. We finally tighten and torque all remaining bolts to spec, leaving the front rod end of the push rod assembly last. With the ASP installed, it's time to set the static camber and toe. The static camber and toe are adjusted using the upper and lower double adjusters. Adjustment may be performed with the vehicle weight loaded onto the tires. The static camber is set by rotating the upper and lower double adjusters equal amounts in the opposite directions. You would lengthen one and shorten the other. The toe is set by rotating the upper and lower double adjusters equal amounts in the same direction. Lengthen or shorten in unison. Following the ASP system installation, corner balance and alignment must be performed. 